is the way I'm running the game. It's not the actual game itself. Um, a fair set. <sighs> okay, I can't, just, I can't even go down to the bar. Play something to cheer me up. The nitwit didn't notice anything. <laughs> what did he do? Steal his money? Oh, yeah, he did. Alright, let's get out of here. That's awesome. If I wanted a bit of fun. Alright, alright, alright. Shut up, asshole. Um. All right, go back to the barkeep. This back and forth stuff in this game is just really. <sighs> I prefer something stronger. But you pay in advance here. Is it enough? Yes, but don't expect miracles. If you want something better, go and tell the boss. It doesn't matter, but thanks for the tip. Once my pal arrives, I'll gladly leave it up to him. Go and take a seat. Easy I'll bring come. you the drink. Easy come, easy it's go. It's okay. I'll drink it right here. Does anyone want to worry about any of those animations? Um... It's my drink, lady. Will you be nicer to me now? <laughs> Depends on what you want. Just a talk. Nothing else. <laughs> All right, then. As I can take a short break. Follow me. Oh, my God. Guy is a fucking dickhead. Oh, my God. Check on the pub's name. Fine. I like the name of this pub. The Salted Cheek. A friend of mine wrote and told me it's worth coming here. I can't see anything so special here. There's a pub on every corner, and most are better than this one. Maybe I have a wrong address. Is there another salted cheek in the vicinity? I don't know of any, but there's a rum hole of the one-eyed pirate around the corner. No, that's not it. I believe I'm at the right place. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you could help me. Don't tell me you're a skull hunter. Don't you know the last one was taken right from here to the mortuary? You're off, Beam. And before you ask, no, I'm not a policeman. I'm just looking for my pal, Brian. He's around my age. You'd definitely notice him. I notice many things. But I can't be sure you're not lying, can I? She's, She's pretty, pretty cunning. cunning. If she, she met, met Brian, Brian, he'd have he'd definitely, definitely told her I'm coming. coming. I just have to prove to her that I am who I am. <laughs> oh my god. Here's a letter from the asshole. Well, do you believe me now? We've known each other for ages. He wanted me to come, so I'm here. Don't try this on me, I can't read. Are you kidding? No, but I don't want to talk about it. So how can I <laughs> prove to you that I really know him? Could anybody else read it for you? Uh, Shut up! No one must know I can't read. Understand? Oh, absolutely. No, I Stupid don't, really. Girl. How come she can't read? <laughs> I'm only continuing really to play this game just to see how awful the writing is because it's it's atrocious right now. <laughs> Every time he wants to get someone to help him, he immediately shits on them, and then it's like, like why would this person want to help you? And then when they ask them, for, when they try and ask him for help, he's like, go oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> Jesus. Who? I'm curious who did the writing for this game. It's, 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 
it's it's amazing. It's so bad, but in a great way. All right, I guess we got a shorter medallion. Hey, innkeeper, bring me some meat. Christ! Quickly! <laughs> the fuck is that so? Just loud? a second. If you've met Brian, he might have told you I always wear this medallion. It's the only reminder I have of my parents. You won't stop it, will you? <laughs> What's your name? Timothy Moore, but call me Tim. That tallies. Brian told me you'd come. So you know him? I have to talk to him. Inez! Go and get the meat! You have to wait for a while. I've got something for you. I'm on the way! <laughs> what the fuck is this guy going? Um... I have a bad feeling about that. You think? Where's the fucking barkeeper? You don't seem to give a shit. The bastard has locked it. How, is he, the how did he lock the door? Does he have a key? To her, I'll never learn what's going on with Brian. Unless there's a bolt uh, lock on the other side. But it wouldn't make sense. You, you wouldn't lock the door from the inside. You would lock it from the outside. Storage thing that is. Of oh, the barkeep. Yo, know, barkeep. I think he's gonna go kill your bardsmaid. One of your girls has disappeared. You're not worried. Inez. I've just told her to go to the cellar. Somebody went after her. That was him door. yelling? I thought it was Again. else. <laughs> Good thing we're not crowded. I wouldn't manage alone. That's the only thing you're interested in. And what about the girl? No, she can take cares. care of herself. How can you be so calm? She's your employee, if nothing else. Look, I'm not cut out for this. If you want to play the hero, go ahead. Do what you want. Do you have a spare key? Of course. Here it is. And I don't want to know anything about it. What a runt. He leaves everything up to me. Uh, I mean, in that case, he's, he's kind of right, but I'm, I'm just laughing because he's... He, <laughs> it's nothing positive to say about anybody. Without a tool, it's pointless. Oh, shut up, dude. Use the key. Let's go. So we'll see how the door's locked from the other side without a key. But whatever. We'll ignore that. He's no amateur. He's left the key in the lock and I can't do anything. What? So some anonymous guy sitting over here has a key? I don't... Without a tool, it's point. Let your attention slip and something will flare up for sure. Go back and talk to this fucker again? Oh, I can't geez. open the cellar door. There's a key on the other side of the lock. God, I, I never seen a, what should I do about that? an adventure game with so much back, I have to get uh, backtracking. Some do you locks? have some kind of tool I could use? You're kidding. I'm not a locksmith. Call the locksmith. Call will fit the locksmith. I won't give you the knife, but you can try it with this. What was that? A corkscrew? Whatever. <laughs> I'm already missing it. Missing what? The hole? Wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Problem solved. Alright. Without a tool, it's point. Oh my god, dude. I'll use the key. I hope it was worth the effort. <laughs> uh, he 
always hope so. Like, uh, <laughs> lines in this game. Grab the uh, butcher knife. I don't think so, girl. I'm warning you, I have another. Just go ahead, girl. I'm gonna get you anyway. I better see titties or something. It's still not lit. Get that out of there. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be such a pussy. It won't move. You bastard, don't touch me. I'll teach you, you bitch. You ask for it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Inez, stop messing about and get upstairs. Damn. Hey, mate, this isn't necessary. Is that so? I have my pals here. Do you know what they'll do with you? <laughs> you mean this? sequence was perfect. <laughs> I'm here, boss. Uh, yeah, I see. What were you doing there for so long? Sorry, Jack. The Sorry. tramp from the pub kept me. At least his cutscenes are working. Get about girls for the day. Police are everywhere. I don't need any eager roundsmen snooping around after you. The bitch has run away. I don't care. Round up the others. Tell them adieu Jack needs them. We've some work at the cemetery. But Chief, adieu. Why can't we do a normal job for once? Rob a bank, kill someone, whatever. You don't like something about it? Shall I find someone else? Nah, nah, nah. Everything's okay. I just thought because of the other men, you know they're cowards. We'll meet there in an hour. Wasn't it the lunatic? Main thing is, he's gone. But what about the girl? I can't tear it off just like that. But I've seen a cleaver somewhere in here. Can't pull up, you can't pick up the cleaver, you're... W wuss. I've heard of grave robbers, but that's not for me. Adieu, Jack. That name gives me the shivers. What's on it? Garlic or what? I trust it was a cow and not a horse carcass. I'm so hungry I'd eat boots, but I'm not going to tear it with my teeth. These walls have seen things I don't want to know anything about. I can't see anyone. Both have already gone. Huh? It won't move. Nobody can ever sure. nobody can ever persuade me to go back into the sewers again. Well, I could have. I'm the one playing the game. Once was enough. <clears throat> so, so... I'm so hungry I'd eat boots. Alright, what does he say when I try to get the rope? I can't tear it off just like that. But I've seen a cleaver somewhere in here. I don't know, the meat cleaver right here. Probably won't get it. It won't move. Uh -huh. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure we have to come right back down here again. You gonna go up or what?
God. Do you know the idiot who did that? He did nothing, thanks to you. But it doesn't matter, he'll come back. I doubt it. I frightened him pretty well. What? Was that you before or after he punched you in the face and I see you bleed you out on your ass? Can't you see I was just pretending? To make him think he killed me and run away? Good trick, isn't it? I see. Stupid me. I thought you were given a thick ear. But you're pretending having a lump on your head really persuasively. <laughs> okay, you know what? I should have let it be. Find another fool next time. Look, I know why you did that. But if I had told you about Brian immediately, you wouldn't have wasted a word on me. <laughs> but I... Don't say anything, please. Mm. I might be dense, but I'm not naive. Whoa, she, she sees, sees right, right through me. me. I wanted I want to gain to her respect, respect, but she, she gained my admiration instead. <laughs> Are you okay? Me? Look at yourself. I thought you were dead. Don't worry. I have a tough bounce. Why did you go there, you fool? They might have killed you. Gentlemen haven't died out yet. Honestly, I'd expected a bit of gratitude. Like right. a hand job or something. For what, for God's sake? Nobody bothers being nice to me, boy. Don't delude yourself. As you wish. But it's to my merit that you can walk home on your feet. That doesn't mean anything. Maybe. But don't expect anything else. There are plenty of hookers in the next room. What gratitude she shows. I won't give a damn about her next time. <laughs> I gotta try and get my composure. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh man. Stop laughing. <laughs> Holy Toledo, man. Oh, God, the lines. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's just, it's, it's, it's not even the fact of what he just particularly said. It's every. He's been saying. He just basically tells everybody to go fuck themselves. It's, it's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> Picked a good game, man. Uh. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can continue now. Yeah, I, I actually just, my eyes started tearing up there. I was just truly really trying to hold that back. I, I don't, I don't really think I laughed that hard during Thimbleweed Park with the with with uh with the clown guy, and that was a pretty funny game. But that was funny because it was funny. This is just funny because it's so. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the makeup scene is special. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Do you remember this? 
You forgot to tell me where Brian is. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, but I have other problems, if you didn't notice. I did. <laughs> I can't read. Otherwise, I wouldn't risk my neck for you. <laughs> I'm just sorry you go go fuck you yourself the next time it happens. I bet he's in a jam again. If you want to see him, he's at the cemetery. What? How did it happen? Oh, you think... He ain't dead, you fool. Oh, damn. Don't do this to me, girl. So what's up with him? <clears throat> he had to get out. Police made a radio. Why do you think the atmosphere is as somber as it is? Everybody with a black conscience vanished, and Brian did too. It's a bit of a madhouse here, but I don't care about local gossip. The police can go to hell. What did you say about the cemetery? It's really near. Take the left from here and you'll see the church steeple straight away. Go there. He said you'll be looking for him. Oh, great. As if he didn't know I hid cemeteries. No one gives a fuck, dude. <laughs> we, just, we just don't <laughs> care about care what's going on with you with the cemetery shit. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. So I guess that's all we do here. Alright, later, bitch. <laughs> Basically tells her to her face, go fuck off if it happens again. It's, it's so great. And then he still wants more more help from her, so it's awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, let's leave this party. All right, cemetery. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, let's save it. <sighs> oh, I can't even get over to the other square. Come on. So dumb. There we go. Is it still chapter two? I don't even know. Is that was that is that considered chapter three? Let me see. Zero one one. Oh, zero slot, one slot. Still chapter two, I guess. Okay. I, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really say it is chapter two, but I'm assuming that's what that means. Okay. What do we got here? Oh my lord. Alright. Let's, let's get all the cringy dialogue. No more crawling in sewers. I'm not a rat. Well, are you sure about that? You sounded like it when you were talking to the uh, waitress. Sound like a fucking douchebag. Maybe not a rat, but definitely an asshole. Broken pavement. Let's go check it out. You know this is getting a 10 out of 10 from me. Oh my god, it's a Doberman Pincher. What is this, Resident Evil? <clears throat> One of the cobbles could be pulled out, but I'll hardly manage with my nails. It's pretty crumbled. Doesn't work. Alright. Okay. What's this? It leads nowhere. Interesting. There's a gas lamp close by. Grab Strange. that shit. Something is sizzling here. Yeah, the, the gas maybe? Yeah, gas. Yeah, I wouldn't stand too close to that, bro. Turn it on and die. Pity there isn't more gas, but I can't do anything about it. Why would there? Why would more gas be a good thing with a burning with a burning lamp above it? Something slowly escaping, but I can tell only due to the sound. Problem is that gas doesn't smell. What? I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Um, ca cursor, come on. Work with me. Alright. 
How do we get back? Oh, oh my god, dude. Alright, hold on a second. Why is this picking up this? Tricked us the fuck down. Get up. Alright. <clears throat> So we got here Ivy. I guess not. Let's see if we get it. No, I don't want to look at that shit again. What's well, there? That's the fence. Okay, go over here. It probably wouldn't hold me. It doesn't seem too solid. Did you fucking try? No. It would look better on a wall of some rich manor. I can always get what I need. Yeah, bro, you're never gonna own a rich man manor in your life. Oh, your attitude. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> well, it seems the grave digger has removed its clapper to have peace at night. But say he doesn't know me yet. <clears throat> it takes a lot of courage to wake the grave digger up in the middle of the night and convince him to let me go to the cemetery. <clears throat> I'd better think twice. I don't have the time nor desire for a dog chase. Climbing over the gate's not a, a problem. Dog biscuit. But what about the dog? I hate funerals, cemeteries, and things like that. And that joker Brian knows it very well. Can't go on like this. I have to do something. I mean, I take it the first time I clicked on it. I th it fits perfectly, but I wonder whether it works. We put in there. Put it back. <clears throat> that won't be better. Someone's going to be really angry. It won't be better, but it's going to work anyway. Ah, who's bothering me this time? I'm coming! Yep, that's what he said. Damn! How come it rings? Why shouldn't it ring? It seems all right to me. It can't be all right as I tore the bloody thing out. The dead want their peace. I don't deny it. I came to see you. It is midnight. Come back tomorrow. It'll be better to solve it straight away. If Baker sent you, I'll smash your head with my shovel. I told him clearly. He'll get it by the end of the week. I don't know any baker. Will you let me in? Just stay where you are. And tell me what you want. Then we'll see. Sounds <laughs> frightening. I'm looking for a friend. His name's Brian. I bet you know him. Brian, eh? Many lie here, so that may be difficult. This one's alive. Was he here tonight, or did he leave a message for me? Oh, I see. I thought you were looking for a grave. But do I look like a messenger? Not exactly. I should have met him here tonight, but the plan failed. You have no business being here at night. The graveyard's closed. My dog isn't used to strangers, and I release him at night. Yeah, I noticed. I've probably come too late. 
But just so you know, I haven't fed him for three days. He'd be right at your neck. Understood? So, Scrolling out, if you happen man. to climb over <clears throat> the wall and look for this, Brian, it'll be your funeral. Thanks for the advice, but don't be surprised when it dies. <laughs> it won't happen. There are plenty of idiots who try to get in here. Lunatic. He probably tried the same act on Brian, but he wouldn't leave so easily. Dan, I hope he's all right. How do you know he didn't even come here? Like, no one leave. <laughs> Just assuming anything at this point. I need to take a look inside. Can you arrange that? Are you having a laugh? How do you imagine I'm gonna let you do that? Simply. Open you the call gate. the fang off, let me in, and I'll pay you whatever you want. Whatever I want? Well... Good. So we're agreed. Wait a minute, youngster. I haven't agreed anything yet. I'm taking the risk here. I'll take that into account. So, how much? Ten pounds. What? He must be crazy. Take it as you wish, but that's my price. If you don't like it, we've nothing more to talk about. That's, that's just right. greed. I don't have that much on me. There must be another way than through uh, money. I'm assuming we're gonna have to go back to the bar, into the basement, get the rope, get the f meat, tie the meat to the rope, and then throw it over the fence or some shit like that. Of this gate here, that's what I'm assuming. Do you know the salted cheek? We'll see. I just came from there. <laughs> I can tell you, I've never drunk such terrible beer in my life. But the I don't salted know cheek. The cleaver, though. Nobody can make me go back there. <laughs> the beer wasn't that bad. I don't care. It just reminded me of a watch. A very expensive watch. I don't get it. What do you mean? Ah, is that man still there? Sitting near the door. Asking everyone to play dice with him. Yeah, he's still there. Well, be careful with him. He blocked everything off me. My money, jewels, everything. What a swine. But I regret more than anything, him taking that silver watch. A reminder of better times, right? Oh, no. It's not mine. And I'll be in big trouble if it comes out that I've lost it. But why should I tell you that? It's none of your business. You better tell me what you want. I did already. Your problem's in my head, <laughs> old codger. <laughs> Maybe I didn't express myself clearly. If I don't get in, someone might have an accident. I probably didn't express myself clearly either. If you climb over the wall, someone will definitely have an accident. Oh, don't be silly. Do you want blood to run in here? I don't. Fucking <laughs> in a graveyard, cemetery Nothing graveyard. Right. Not as long as he has the dog with him. And they're supposed to be all open to public anyway. What a nice animal. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say its name was? <laughs> well, he just talks about killing it. You know, I have a dog too. <laughs> Mind your own business. And leave my dog be. Uh... Now, did you want something else or what? It'll be difficult. He doesn't trust me at all. I guess not. What the fuck? Confess the bell fixing. Don't worry about the bell. It works as good as new. So what? I know. You won't get inside anyway. Doesn't do it anything. I'm not that naive, but I wonder why you stole its clapper. I'm not telling you why. I heard there was a funeral today, an aristocratic one. It must have attracted many people, journalists, onlookers. Hookers. You're right. So, what? They almost tore the bell off the chain, so I simply put a stop to that. Damn them all! He'll wear off. Isn't that your jab? Nobody will remember Mad William in a few days, and we'll have peace again. He didn't have any other name than this. Sure. 
People also called him the White Beast, but that was punishable. There are fines for insults and stuff like that. He was pretty nuts, wasn't he? I'll tell you something. Now he's right under my nose. It makes me uneasy. I liked him better when he was alive and far away. I believe you. I'm not surprised you're afraid of him. Ah, you're talking piffle. I was wondering why you talked to me at all. I'd expect you to send me straight to hell, but you didn't. You're standing here telling me gossip. You even released the dog only to have a sound sleep. You're just simply afraid of a dead man in a coffin. I don't have to listen to this. And I won't. Now this is lucky. The gravedigger's an old fool, and I need to get into his graveyard. <laughs> God, this dialogue just keeps going on with this dude. All for service. You threaten to kill his dog. You, you call him like an old buffoon. You may say it on his knee if you're going to offer... I'll bring you the watch. But not for free. No, thanks. I can manage it myself. And how are you going to do that? Do you have any money at all? That's not your business. Why do you stick your nose in? I want to have a look inside, and the only way to do that is through you. So, I'm trying to reach an agreement with you in good grace. But ten pounds is too much, so let's do an exchange. I'll get the watch, and you'll let me in. Forget it. What could happen? Mad William rise from the dead and bite me, or what? Don't mess, man. You don't know what you're saying. Damn. I just want to see if Brian left a message here. A few minutes will do. You're pretty pig-headed. Ah, to hell with it. But there will be no deal without the watch. All right, back to the bar. I'll come by later. I don't care. I won't be asleep tonight anyway. Ah, damn. I'll fix the cursor again. I notice you have a nice watch. I'm looking for a similar piece. Don't try to pull my leg, Milksop. I haven't taken it out of my pocket since I came here. The bastard from the cemetery sent you, right? Well, not really. You can tell him the price has doubled since last time. How come? I heard that the knives are out for him because of the watch. So the price increases, don't you think? If they kill him? You won't get anything. Doesn't matter. I have the watch, and crows can peck the gravedigger to pieces. That's life. He won't, he won't let, let it go. go. That's, That's obvious. obvious. At, least At least I know he has, has the watch, watch with him. I'm not going to carry it in my pocket. The innkeeper will spot it. <clears throat> well, I guess we gotta fucking play this game now? I've been thinking about that dice game, and, you know, I'd like to try it. I see. So you've changed your mind? I guess so. That's a pity, because I haven't. What do you mean? I told you, I don't give second chances. Find someone else. What's the problem? I thought you wanted to fleece me. 
Look, I'm not doing it for some stupid principles. I want an opponent who won't run away crying when they lose their first game. I want a proper player who will stake his last penny. Otherwise, it's useless. Get it? No, not really. I won't waste my time with you. In the worst case, you'd be lucky enough to leave with even some of your money once the game starts going bad for you. I don't care about milksops like you. If you don't want anything else, then get out. If there's no other way, I'll pull out all the stops. That wasn't the last he'll see of me. If he thinks he can take me to school with the dice game, like, why wouldn't he want to have me join in on the game so he can beat my ass, right? <laughs> Complain about the poker player. Uh, you know, I really can't stand people who spoil business. I don't get it. Who are you talking about? The man with the dice. He pestered me from the moment I stepped in the door. Jeffrey? He won't stop until he fleeces someone. So keep him the That's fuck it. out. He cleans your customers out. They let him fleece the last penny out of them instead of drinking their money at the bar. He can do whatever he wants, except cheating. He tried it once, so we opened the door with his head. He got the idea very quickly. But you still allow him in your bar. Again. I saw him cheating. He robbed an old fellow of a silver pocket watch. You should take care of your guests and try to get the watch back. Ah, I'll remind him of his last lesson. If I were you, I'd call for help. Aye, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And don't forget the watch. Fuck was that dialogue? I can't miss it. What? What do you want? How did it go? Good. He won't cause any more trouble. And what about the watch? What watch? I told you. He'd robbed an old man of a silver pocket watch. I thought you took it from him. Yeah, he can go to the police. It's not my problem. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. Damn. The watch is gone. Oh, was I supposed to grab that liquor while... I... No, I couldn't because I didn't have a cursor. No. Wrong button. He's lucky to have fled, otherwise I'd lay him out again. No one in here. The girl can finally rest. If this isn't a display of heroism, then I'm a Dutchman. It's nice that they chucked the scoundrel out, but it's not solved my problem with the gravedigger. Well, well... Knife. Grab the knife. Anything There's else? nothing like an honest day's work. At last, I feel like a human being again. Why? Well, technically, you didn't do anything. Barkeeper did it. Um, knife the bounty. No, nope. knife the winch. No. Nope. Oh, maybe I can cut the rope now with this. Or... Lodge the fucking meat cleaver free so I can do that or something. Maybe I can cut the rope though. I have a feeling we're gonna need this food for the dog. I just seen this coming. I'm assuming that's what this is. Alright, can we use it to get the meat cleaver? No. When I did this last time, in the ship's kitchen, they caught me. Who gives a fuck? Okay, 
gonna be a piece of meat. I often stole smoked beef right from the ship's kitchen before they caught me. Good for you. Very proud of you. Got the rope. Okay. It didn't hurt at all. Um, good to know, I guess. Yep. Tying a rope on the, on the meat. That's what I thought. Great. Now it's perfect. I could go catching sharks with this. Okay. Um, is that it down here? Plenty of meat. Get more? I don't want any more. Okay. Falls up, of course. <laughs> It's like he turned around and said it to me like I, as I was asking the question. Still can't get this, right? Alright. It All right. won't move. So my guess was probably right. We're going to have to use this to trap the dog. So cause there's no watch now. It's all, all that dialogue I just spent with the guy at the cemetery. I was just a waste of time. Thank you. Thank you, developers. Back to the cemetery. The question now is, is where do we put this? Right over the gate, I guess? Let's see if we can put it over here. God damn it. Fucking... I'm sure. Oh, oh. Oh, can I use... And the knife to get this out. Oh, do it, do it, Tim. All right, got a brick. This was easy, like a hot knife through butter. Okay. All right, I can't combine it with anything. This doesn't combine with anything. All right, just double checking. Okay, um, let's go back here. We put put the brick on this. One slash, and the work will be done. Damn work! It can't be true. <laughs> At last, I was near to giving up. Gas is a good ally. Silent and reliable. Silent but deadly. Can't even get that right. It leads nowhere. I'm not sure if that's enough. The dog would have to stand really close to the vent at least for several seconds. Okay, so use the food on the lamppost? Burn hole. Okay, there we go. I should let you starve, you bastard. But this will be a faster way. Oh, so, yeah. come on. Take it. <laughs> Sleep well. Now, did we just kill a dog? Man, this game. And hopefully the gas just knocked him out. Everything's okay. Nobody in sight. Alright, let's do it. Let's see your climbing skills, Tim. I, I I'll say this: the bar didn't look. No living soul in here. The bar didn't look all too great, but this is probably the first scene that actually, like the cemetery part of it, that looks pretty nice. Like graphically, 
looks pretty nice. I'll give it that. Bar wasn't too bad, but you know, it just wasn't all that great. All right, dead tree. Nothing. An ideal place for leaving a message, but I can't see anything. Vanish. Go around the church. Into the church. Go through the gate. Or how do you leave? Left or right, Chet? Do you think if you had agreed to play dice with the dude at the beginning that you could have gotten the... gotten the, the watch and not had to cast the dog? I don't know. No, we couldn't, because he had no money. We didn't have any money. Couldn't... I tried playing the, the game with him. Yeah, he wouldn't do it. So no, I think we'll just go with the assumption that the dog's knocked out and not dead. <laughs> Alright, both say right. Alright, let's go right. Okay, it was this hand job. Oh, is this Brian? Is it okay. you? Man, I've been looking for you for ages. Plot thickens. <laughs> oh my god. No. You jackass. I thought you were dead. Take it easy, Tim. I'm okay. But you're a bit pale. Damn, Brian. I'm chasing after you in pubs and cemeteries, and you're merrily sleeping here. Like a log? Gonna you know call, me. So he's going to call him an asshole now, too? I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too, you fool. What are you waiting for? Sit down. Did the gravedigger hound you or what? Don't frighten me. How did you get here? I have my ways. Did you have any trouble? Ah, nothing I couldn't manage. I knew I could rely on you. Nonetheless, you should be glad it's quiet today. Adieu, Jack, wouldn't niggle with us. You can trust me. Adieu, Jack. That sounds familiar. You won't know him. He's a real butcher. The leader of a local gang. The cemetery's their territory, but they've already cleaned it twice this week. So they won't bother today. That's it. He was going to launch another crackdown. Are you sure? Absolutely. He was talking to a brainless gorilla. He told him to get hold of the others, and that they'd meet in an hour. And when was that? They're already late. Damn. Come on, we're out of here. It's not worth the risk. Hurry up, we're getting out. You can count on that. I'm not staying another second. <sighs> yeah, you are, because... Pointer's messed up again. For a walk in the cemetery. Oh, we're not going there. That goes back to the gate. I guess we're not following him. Where has he gone? Climb up, Tim. What are you waiting for? Come up where? Oh, God, Brian. You sleep here like a baby all night, and now it's like the place is on fire. I'll be right there. Where? Okay, but buck up. I'll tear him to pieces one day. 
I don't see him. Do you guys see him? <laughs> I don't see the guy up there at all. Oh shit. Um. I wonder how much it hurts to be burnt to ashes. Anyway, well, if I don't get out of here now, I'll find out what it's like to have a knife stabbed in my stomach. I was gonna say the way you've been treating everybody as of as of right now, you, you will be fucking burned. I don't want to end up here. It's just a wreck. I could hurt myself. Like that? <laughs> Dumbass. Damn. Blasted stonemasons, idiots. Oh yeah, it's their fault. Climbing is over. It's too high for me. Has Brian learned to fly? I've escaped from an orphanage, a jail, a ship, and now a cemetery. This is something new. Guess we can't go this way because we gotta go back. Oh, bench? What's up with the bench now all of a sudden? Oh, I was gonna well, use this. But where should this go? What? Oh. Ugh, oh. oh, come on, cursor. It'll be an awful chore to pull it aside. So let's get down to work. Ugh, God knows how much I hate physical work. The fun's over. Someone's coming. And I won't wait for him. Well, good. Stop talking and get up there. <laughs> What were you doing there? I almost took roots here. Do you think I can fly or what? There was a time you'd climb it like an ape. I haven't forgotten it yet. Yeah, well, there was a time you'd wait for your pal. What are you talking about? We're still pals. You'd better tell me where we're going. We can chat later. Come on, let's go. I know the perfect place to hide. You'll be surprised. <clears throat> A smart word at last. I have to find a place to hide and plan what I'll do next. I wonder how he's going to get the money for the tickets to America. And we'll need something to start us off. But maybe I'm worrying about nothing. He wouldn't have written to me if he hadn't an ace up his sleeve. We'll paint the town red, just like we did in the old days. Together again. Damn, where has he got to? Should have been following him. 13th of November, 1894. Must be chapter three, I guess. Fairy is with me, but the resolution of the drowned dressmaker's case has opened a new door for me. A transfer, my own office in Plymouth, and possible promotion. I hope this will be a good start to a successful career. The 13th of November. Fortunately, I'm not superstitious. Here we are, sir. This is for you. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day, sir. It feels like a dream. I've been waiting for this moment for three whole years. Oh, this is the alter ego stuff. Now we're switching characters. Okay.
no, no. I can't let you go without a penalty. Nocturnal disturbance and insult of a police officer. These are all serious offences. Two people from the pub. No, sir. It was just a serious mistake. It's the bouncer and a winch. She had a drop of drink, sang a bit, and suddenly the watch arrested her. You want to put her into jug for that? Look, I could settle the disturbance with a warning, but not the insult. But she didn't feel well, officer. It was really an accident. The policeman stood right on the spot where she threw up. She had no bad intent. Spare me the details. I have the report here. What were you doing out so late? If it was me, you could put me in the coop. I, I could handle it. But she's a different case, you see. She hasn't anybody except me. Her parents died of the typhoid. We both have to muddle along, and once we come across some money, we want to enjoy it. What would the poor girl get from her life when she can't even have a drink or two? Please, spare me. Let her go, sir. I bet you have plenty of work with real felons. Robbers, murderers, and at the top of the list, those hookers. For example, Willington Street swarms with them. You should get rid of them, and not bother decent people. Stop it. Nobody pulls my leg. You just wait right here, and I'll decide what to do with you. That's my last word. This place seems to be built to command respect for justice. I oh. think I'll like it here. At least this voice actor is better than the other guy. See how the dialogue's any better. Good morning. Morning, sir. How can I help you? I am Detective Briscoe. Briscoe. Where can I report myself for duty? Oh, so you're the new detective. Yes, I am. I'll have to check the documentation, because I've not been told. Do so, please. Immediately, if it's not impossible. No, no new warrant card, but I'll have another look. As you can see, we're busy right now. Never mind, I'll wait. Just a picture in my pocket. I'm, I'm starting to lose my patience. patience. Well, well, at last. last. Just rob my ass. I am sorry. The personnel department didn't send anything. Are you sure you'll be all right here, sir? Of course I am. And the commission of my transfer has the current date? May I see it, sir? What's going on? Where are my papers? Excuse me. Horror stall. I'll be right back. <laughs> so bring it, please. Uh, I really don't have time to waste. I'm sure I put them in my pocket. If I was robbed, they won't even trust me to guard a playground. My shit, bitch. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a folder with identity papers? I must have dropped it somewhere. No, didn't see anything like. Someone's probably nicked off with it. Here? At the police station? Sure. As they say, the darkest night is right under the candle. <laughs> I would send her to jail for her lack of manners alone. I'll keep the gentleman's goodbyes for respectable people. Excuse me. What's up? I noticed you've been waiting here for some time. <clears throat> so what? I just wondered whether you happened to see a folder with identity papers. I must have dropped it. 
What would I care for your papers? I've seen nout. I hope you haven't. Are you implying that I've stolen them? And would I be far from the truth? Oh, oh the chick stole it. You daft sod. Otherwise, I might forget where I am right now. Drunks, Drunks are always the same. Strong, strong words, words, no honor. I can't confess such a cardinal mistake as the loss of my papers. It is beneath me. Huh? Listen, if someone happens to lose something, is there any chance you could help him find it? You have to go next door, number 13, lost and found. I think an active investigation is required. I don't have time to wait for a possible honest finder. Well, it is possible indeed, but uh, it must be an emergency. Well, for example, when a baby is lost. So I'm probably at a wrong address. Thank you. Although I know I'll have to, I can't bring myself to tell him what's happened. I just can't bear the shame. Have a good day, Constable. Goodbye, sir. I can't get there without keys anyway. I could take a closer look later. I do like the tone he's using talking to that depraved woman. Someone must have planned this awkward provocation, but it's hard to believe that he would be able to think at all. I wonder if it really was her who stole my papers. What it was, I've seen her do it. No, that's pure nonsense. I'll wait for a more deserving occasion. Couldn't you say that from where Detective you are? Detective Roberts. There'll be enough time for acquaintance later. It's too early. They're still lost and found. I'll wait until they assign. I didn't endure working in the countryside to make a fool of myself here on my first day on duty. A label is missing. Bitch, give me my shit. Cursor, come on, man, why? I just escape to get out of it. No. I have any... I don't have any inventory or anything. So I, don't, I mean, I know she has the papers. They're not here. Could I have left them in the carriage? Nonsense. Constable, tell your superior to come here. For what reason? I want to report myself for duty. So give me the commission and I'll arrange the rest. I don't think you understood me, Constable. I want to talk to him in person. I'm sorry, sir. I still think you didn't get it. You will have to hand me the office key in a few minutes. Don't you think it would be beneficial for you to cooperate? from the very beginning. 
Sir, you should understand you're asking the impossible. As you wish. I can manage myself. But it won't benefit your career at all. I don't want to bother you. I see you're busy, even when the respectable people are still asleep. Or is this normal with you? Do you mean these two? A night watch picked them up. I just wonder, what did they do? Do I need to watch my pockets? Definitely. These two are notorious. Really? The girl too? Keep your distance there, sir. A hail of curses is the least you can expect from her. I'll remember that. Thank you. That, that thief and his floozy. Now it makes sense. She robbed me when I wasn't paying attention. Such insolence. It's... I mean... I get it, like... They're trying to make it a little immersive where the character himself's got to figure out that they stole it, but the fact that the player knows she stole it and in order to get that dialogue to move forward, you have to walk outside and then walk back in. <laughs> it's, just... it's dumb. <laughs> pusher? Oh. Listen, what you did <laughs> I mean, like, literally pusher. Make off your puppet, otherwise I'll start shouting. And then, the place will be full of policemen in five seconds. Three seconds and my pimp will crack your head. Attacking an officer on duty, you'd both end up in jail. You already no are. Officer, but you will end up badly. In that case, I hope you don't detest rats. You know what you can do? Can you read at all? Give me my papers, they're of no use to you. You can dream about it. <sighs> can we just move on with this whole segment? I mean, this is just stupid. Like... Your woman over there lacks manners. Perhaps even a brain. Excuse me. I don't give a damn who you are. Nobody talks about my girl like that. Is it clear? I thought you understood the situation. Her behavior is complicating your life unnecessarily. Get out. I'm not interested in your guff. It would be as useful as talking to a brick wall. He might have done something that stupid, but I doubt he would confess to it. I would need to have concrete evidence. All right. The opening sequence with the with the laundry and Emily was boring as hell. You go to the bar, you do the cemetery, like that stuff. All right, I was kind of getting into the game a bit. Yeah, you know, of course, the one-liners were hilarious at the time. Now all of a sudden, it's just like completely hauled. Why do they have these sequences in this game that are just boring as shit? <laughs> I just want to move on to the next segment of the game. This is just dumb. And I... You you physically see the girl steal the uh, shit out of his pocket when he leans on the table. I mean, you know she has it and we got to go through all this shit just to get him back. It's stupid. Director's cut version of this game. Cut this the fuck out. <laughs> Sucks. Don't deny it. It's useless. I know you have what I'm looking for. I warned you, you puppet. Igor, come here. How's it going, girl? Pretty badly. That one rides for a beating. Do you mean that police? Right in front of the other cop behind the counter, and he doesn't give I a fuck. Tell. Shut up. 
I heard him talking to the officer. He's some kind of inspector, but he's lost his papers or something. Aye, when I snitched him. Funny, eh? Are you kidding me? I'll kill you! Give them back right now! But I can't. You'll pay for this, girl. The brothel is closed for you. Get it? Wait! I didn't mean that. I was just bored. It's not written on his head as an inspector, you know. Is this supposed to be her whispering to Even him? And he can't he fucking hear them? Sod. Work it out or I'll oh. kill you. Oh my lord, dude. This is so bad. Fortunately, her companion is brighter than she is. I mean, this is really badly scripted segment of this game. This is really awful. What the f what the fuck was the point of them whispering right in front of the cop? I, it's just. Can I please, for the fifth fucking time, have my stolen papers? I heard everything. <laughs> now I get soda right in front of you! <laughs> Here you are, Inspector, sir. Oh my god. It'll never stop surprising me what this vermin is capable of. Like, any momentum the game was getting... Before this chapter started, out the fucking door. <laughs> oh my god. My cursor's all pooped out. Uh, way to. Really, like. Way to go to bore out your freaking audience. Man. Here are the transfer papers for my duty commencement. So funny. Of course, sir. You it's can leave them on the table. Here. All the papers should be in order. And let me see. Mr. Briscoe, well, it is my honor to welcome you aboard. Now it is your honor, but you wanted to put me out of doors just a few minutes ago. Because the writing is bad. Someone we get it. Let's go. Let's move on. Certain consequences. <laughs> Yet as I am a straight man, <sighs> you do not need to worry. I'm sorry, sir, if I caused you any difficulties. I'm willing to forget it. So, what's the next step? I would like to take the office as soon as possible. I mean, immediately. I'll arrange the new warrant for you, sir. In the meantime, you can settle in your new office. It's the door over there, next to the staircase. Here are the keys. Anything's possible with enough effort. And now, if you could be so kind and show me the way to the Chief Inspector, Chief Inspector Powell is not available at the moment, sir. How come? Well, if my information is correct, he has gone to London for a couple of days. But I thought I could report myself for duty today. Don't worry, sir. I can phone him and tell him you're already here. Thank you. In the meantime, I'll have a look in my office. I don't mean to carry on, but I, I I have to at least one more time. Why couldn't we just walk in, hand on the papers, and have this dialogue? Why did we have to go through the sequence with these two idiots standing here? What did that add to the game? Nothing. <laughs> That's exactly what it added to the game. Ah. Uh. When can I expect to get a warrant card? It'll not be so quick, sir. I'm sorry. It'll be at least a couple of days. There's no need to be sorry. Just do your job so that I can do mine. 
Certainly not. If this gets out, I won't even be allowed to guard a playground. He said the door by the staircase. It probably won't be anything special. It's the door. It's the only door with the asterisk. And it's quite obvious. Fucking thing over here. Cursor. Like, I, I should have been in this office like 20 minutes ago. It's just huge time sink for no freaking reason. It's just dumb. Bed. It's just bad content. I didn't expect anything special, but this is just extravagant. Service. Hmm? What? He can't hear me. If you want something done properly, you have to do it yourself. I'm supposed to hear you. Oh, I can move around now? Alright, what do we got here? Trash heap. Only a swarm of flies is missing. I expected an office, not a barn. Didn't you just say it was amazing like two seconds ago? Spectacular Only a swarm of flies is missing. I expected an office, not a. <laughs> Only a swarm. I expect. What's the point of coming in here then? To me, the whole of Plymouth seems just like the grass under the window. It grows how it wants and where it wants, and nobody ever tries to mow it. The view isn't worth mentioning, but I'm not here to stare out of the window. I'm literally bored with this whole segment. But now I gotta talk to this guy. Can you please clean my office? Complain about the mess. Yep. <laughs> I have a question. How come my predecessor has not moved his belongings out yet? Sir, Inspector Lockley retired a month ago. Yeah? As far as I know, nobody ever goes into his office. So? Especially Clean not the, the cleaning lady. Right. Clean the fuck out. I will arrange that, sir. But you won't come until the evening, sir, if it's all right with you. Why didn't you schedule that a That's month ago? Fine. As for Inspector Lockley's belongings, I'll put everything in a box. Then come and take it away. I don't care where. As you wish, sir. A good, a good start. start. First, First they, they robbed rob me, and you. now I have to be a cleaner. Yeah, it's Whoever wrote this portion of the game, Constable, the keys you gave does not know what the I know what the, what the meaning of fun is. I think I have no idea. These were your predecessor's keys. I thought it'd be wiser to keep them together. You thought well. I'll find out myself. Yes, it's from here. Come on, cursor. Oh Jesus. Um, what? The, fir the first one is the office key, and the other? Well, I'm not quite sure. I don't want to leave. The only thing I can do is go back into the office. Oh. Okay, yeah, there was a... It's a safe or something in there, wasn't it? On the wall. The left side when you walk in. Yeah, it's gotta be this thing. Yeah, now, oh, now I can highlight the vault. Yeah, it's just, whatever. 
Just, just literally, just like the it laundry place, just back and forth nonsense for no reason. What? It's of no use when I don't have the code. Now there's a puzzle. And look, now there's more things lit up in the room. It's just, it's just dumb. I'm not going to examine it. I just want to throw it away. What goes in here? Oh. I literally have to do this. Writing, notes, evidence. Nothing can get lost here. <sighs> oh my god, dude. This is a drag. I bet you if I looked up reviews for this game, I'd bet you this segment. <laughs> is easily the talk of the shit. Because this is boring as hell. It might be quite interesting reading under different circumstances. White plaster powder. I'll manage without this. Okay. Finally, it looks a bit more like an office. I mean, am I the only one who feels this way? That this is like a... Like, the game started off extremely slow. It started getting some momentum. We were, I was into the game. I think we all were, and all of a sudden, <laughs> right back. You know what I mean? Like, am I the only one who feels this way? Yeah, it just, it really did. As soon as the cemetery it was over, it was just, much more. that was it. It would be useless to pretend I'm not here. Why? Just don't answer the phone. Detective Sergeant Briscoe? Good day, sir. What can I do for you? Of course, everything is all right. I'm at your service. I see. St. Patrick's Church. Can you give me any details? Excuse me, I just don't understand why we should deal with a complaint from a local vicar. It's your fucking job. I understand, sir. I'll set off immediately. I just need to know where exactly it is. All right. I'll take someone with me, as you wish. Take someone with Goodbye. you? Who? Who are we going to take with us? So, here we are. The first task. And I haven't even sat down yet. I'll take a few notes to make sure I don't forget anything. Please. Hold on. <laughs> 